This is the Tobin One UDS-03. I've been using it for six months. They sent it out for a review of mine on Amazon, but I've been using it for a while. I thought it's a decent product and I wanted to share it with you guys. First, we're gonna talk about the IO, then we're gonna talk about what the capabilities of this are, and then we're gonna talk about some of my user experience. So first, IO. You have two USB-C 3.0 ports on this. Those are on the front. You have two USB-A 3.0 two ports, uh, those will do 10 gigabits. The USB-C will only do five gigabits. You have two USB-A ports, one on the front, one on the back, that is for uh, peripherals, keyboard, mice, etc. You have on the back, you have three HDMI ports, sorry, four HDMI ports, and you have two display ports out. And there's certain combinations that you have to use if you want 4K60 over HDMI. This only supports 2K60 over DisplayPort, uh, but that's not that big of a deal in my opinion because most displays have both DisplayPort and HDMI. You have a gigabit per second LAN or RJ45 connection on the back, the USB-C host port to go into your laptop, and you have the DC barrel jack. Now on the front, you have a headphone jack. Um, if you wanna use the built-in DAC, I haven't really played with it very much, but this is nice depending upon your setup and if you need the, the headphones plugged in closer to you. You have a micro SD card as well as a regular SD card on the front, as well as an indicator light and a button. Now that we've talked about the IO of this, the whole thing is made of metal. It feels really nice and does a great job of dissipating heat because this thing does get pretty warm uh, when you are using it. Now, the capabilities of this. This is very much meant to be a display hub. You can drive four different displays off of this one hub over one cable going into your computer, and that's probably one of the headlining features of it, in my personal opinion. I think that the ability to drive that many displays is going to be a huge bonus for some people that need a multi-display home office or uh, office setup. And for those people, this is going to be a great choice. Just download the Synaptics based display link driver for this. Go ahead, plug it into your computer and you're gonna have all of your displays being recognized. Now, using this specific software with this, when my computer was updated to the newest version of Mac OS, I was not prompted to update the software. And because of that, I had a bunch of different connectivity issues with the hub and my computer. And I reached out to them to support for, for support and they said, you should try updating the drivers. That solved all those issues. So it's nice that the customer support, at least in my experience, has been pretty helpful. Negatives or things that I've just noticed in the overall user experience. Occasionally when I'm plugging stuff in and out, one of the displays will go back black. I'm assuming it's because it's got to reconfigure some stuff for IO. Next is that the transfer speeds of this being the five gigabit per second or the 10 gigabit per second over USB. I would love it if it was Thunderbolt, but this is not a Thunderbolt dock. So if you're someone that's looking to have a Thunderbolt dock or your priority is to have the fastest data transfer speeds possible and you don't really care about driving three, four displays, this is the wrong choice for you. Uh, another thing is that if your computer requires more than 100 watts of USB-C power delivery, this is also not going to be for you. We now have newer USB-C power delivery protocols, uh, USB-C power delivery 3.1, and I think we're coming close to 3.2 now, uh, which will do 140 watts out, and for some different laptops that might have a dedicated GPU, uh, this is probably not going to provide enough juice. This provides enough juice for my MacBook Pro, even on high power mode. I know I would get like some extra turbo boost high power mode if I was using the MagSafe connector with it, I'm not just for aesthetics at the home, and this provides enough power and I haven't had any issues about my computer drawing any of the battery power in order to get stuff done. Should you buy this? Well, if you're someone that needs a hub just to connect a bunch of displays to, maybe you have some traditional spinning hard drive that you have data on, or you need to have like a home networking solution, I think that this could be a great option. I especially love the aesthetic of it and how it fits with the aesthetic of my MacBook Pro. I think it looks incredibly clean, incredibly minimalistic. I just wish that maybe some more of the ports 
or on the back of the device, so it would be easier for me to kind of hide or route some of the hard drives that I leave plugged into my computer for long-term use, kind of with my, my desk setup. So that's one of the things that I dislike. The speed of transfer over SD card obviously hasn't been as good as when it's plugged in directly into my MacBook Pro, but I'm not really using SD cards anymore. I'm more using CF Express Type A cards. The price that this thing comes in at, it is a very competitive price, but depending upon how much you're looking to spend, you really have to decide whether or not your priority is data transfer speeds and you want something that's Thunderbolt or you care about displays, in which this case, this would make an awesome display hub for your personal needs. If you guys have any questions about my user experience with this or you wanna pick one up, I will have links to where you can do so in the description down below. Uh, and I hope you guys enjoyed this short, concise review of the Tobin One UDS-033. This is the Tobin One USD. So uh, it's not supporting that to the host device. I'm not really surprised. Uh, the 